Okay, let's bring it back to the basics. Let's chat about what mifepristone actually is and how it's used. Let's turn this into abortion 101. I once heard that if you're trying to learn something new, you can do the who, what, when, where, how approach. And I think I probably learned that in elementary school. So because it's stuck with me all these years, let's do that same plan for mifepristone. Who uses mifepristone? Anyone who can get pregnant who chooses a medication abortion for an intrauterine pregnancy. It's prescribed by a certified clinician. What is mifepristone? It's the first step in a medication abortion regimen. And I wanna talk you through exactly how it works so that you totally understand what it is and how it does what it does. You see, mifepristone blocks a hormone called progesterone. So before we go any further, let's talk about what progesterone actually does. Quite literally, let's go to class. So progesterone is a hormone and the body needs progesterone in order to carry out an early pregnancy because what it does is it helps with the lining of the uterus. So this lining right here, it's gonna help keep it nice and plump. It also helps with keeping the muscles within the uterine walls nice and relaxed so the uterus doesn't expel a growing pregnancy. So when mifepristone actually blocks that progesterone, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start messing with the lining here and it's gonna cause that uterine wall to start contracting a little bit and it can soften the cervix here. All of that together is gonna enable that pregnancy to detach from the walls and come out. When has it been used? Mifepristone was first approved in France in 1988 and it was approved in the US in the year 2000. That means we have over 35 years of international use and 25 years of safe use in the United States. Where is it taken? It's pretty simple, it's just taken by mouth. Just one 20 milligram tablet and you swallow it with water. And then you follow it up with misoprostol. Why are we hearing so much about it now? Because despite it being safe, effective, and approved and available in the US for decades, access to mifepristone is under attack. It has become the center of abortion bans and court cases. How widespread is its use? Globally, medication abortion accounts for more than half of all abortions. And in the United States, mifepristone and misoprostol is now the most common abortion method. The World Health Organization lists it as an essential medicine because of its safety and effectiveness. And that's the abortion pill in a nutshell. The more you know, the harder it is to spread misinformation.